Sorry about the uh, 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 uncomfortable way we have to start just to make sure that everybody's on board, but it's uh, one of the prices we pay for uh, being able to uh, worship virtually together and for those of us who are here uh, uh, worshiping together. Let's, let's begin with our children's prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving us. Thank you for our homes. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our church. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for our country. Please keep us all healthy. Amen. We continue with the order for confession and forgiveness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people, turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God. <clears throat> Most merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you the entire forgiveness of all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. O God of justice and love, you illumine our way through life with the words of your Son. Give us the light we need and awaken us to the needs of others. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Amos. Alas for you who desire the day of the Lord. Why do you want the day of the Lord? It is darkness, not light, as if someone fled from a lion and was met by a bear, or went into the house and rested a hand against the wall and was bitten by a snake. Is not the day of the Lord darkness, not light, and gloom, with no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your festivals, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies, even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings. I will not accept them, and the offerings of well-being of your fattened animals I will not look upon. Take away from me your noise of your songs. I will not listen to the melody of your harps, but let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 25th chapter. Jesus said to the disciples, then the, the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten bridesmaids took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, all of them became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a shout, look, here is the bridegroom, bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those bridesmaids got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, no, there will not be enough for you and for us. You had better go to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they went to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him into the wedding feast, and the door was shut. Later, the other bridesmaids came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I do not know you. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour the Gospel of the Lord. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, we are approaching the end of the church year. Beginning of Advent will be, will be right after Thanksgiving. And as we approach the end of the, every year, the end of the church year, the, the focus of our lessons turns to what are what theologians call last things. Uh, the things about death, judgment, and questions about the hereafter. Today we are presented with two very different, but also two very challenging uh, notions of what it will be, what it will be like when, when God returns in all his glory, what the Old Testament, the prophet called the day of the Lord. Amos was writing in a particular time in Israel's history. Amos is writing at a time when 
Israel is surrounded by hostile neighbors. But Israel, for just a moment, is feeling secure and kind of lazy. They have neglected or forgotten their special relationship with Yahweh, with God. And they've gone after other gods. They've gone into relationships with other nations, with other kingdoms, and forgotten that they are God's people, Yahweh's chosen people. They, they think of Yahweh is kind of their pet God, one that they can just keep around when it's convenient, give him a festival or two every now and then, but don't really let that God have anything to do with your daily life. Amos says to the people of Israel, you have forgotten who you are. At your core, you are God's people. You don't need other gods. You don't need other kingdoms for your security. Plant yourselves firmly in the kingdom of God. Align yourselves completely with God. What does that mean? Amos says, no, it doesn't mean having the perfect the perfect church service with every single thing just orderly the way it's supposed to be. No technical glitches or anything like that. The style of worship is not the question for Amos. He doesn't care about whether, whether you sacrifice all the livestock in the world or whether you observe all the right festivities. But in your daily life, there's nothing that shows that you're a child of God. Amos says, don't give me all this empty worship. Show me a lifestyle. Show me a society a community in which justice prevails, in which everyone is treated as a child of God. In Jesus' parable, in Jesus' rather troubling story, he draws a different picture, paints a different picture of what it will be when the bridegroom comes, that is, when he, Jesus, himself returns. He uses terms that we translate in English as wise and foolish. It's observant and non-observant. It is those who have internalized the good news that God is among us and have, have uh, uh, taken that into their lives. They are wise because they have heard of God's love. And they're wise because they're prepared to let their lives shine with God's love. The foolish bridesmaids have also heard God's word. But they haven't made any changes in their lives. They've just gone along the way things always have been. Jesus warns that they're going to be left out that being a child of God, whether a child of God in, in Old Testament times as an Israelite or a child of God in New Testament times, that is Christians, 
The question is not, does God love us? The question is, does God's love for us make a difference in our lives? Does the world see us as individuals, see us as a community, and say, justice prevails among this people? Compassion is at the root of their relationships with one another and with people around them. Is love at the center? Is grace at the center of our lives? We just shortly short a, a little while ago with Pete speaking the words, but I hope each of us in our own way confessing to God that we have not always aligned ourselves or lived in the world the way God expects us to be. We have sinned. We have fallen short of God's expectations of us. But our relationship with God is not a quid pro quo. God doesn't say, if you love me, if you obey my commandments, then I will be your God. God says, I do love you. And because I love you, I want you to obey my commandments, to live in the world in a way that shows God's grace. That's our challenge. Every day of our lives, to live as signs of God's grace and not to be foolish, but to be wise, to be wise in letting our light shine. In Jesus' name, amen.
They join with the saints throughout the ages in professing our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, sundered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Longing for Christ's reign to come among us, we pray for the outpouring of God's power on the church, the world, and all in need. Holy God, rouse us to deep praise as we gather for worship. Enliven our worship with sincere and heartfelt song. Sustain the work of all church musicians and artists who lead us in prayer and praise. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Holy Creator, surprise and delight us with the beauty of the world you have made. Bless the work of landscapers, architects, and artists whose work invites us into harmonious living with your creation. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Holy Judge, let justice roll down like waters over this world. Reign over the courtrooms of every land in the hearts of those who guard the law and those who stand accused of crimes. Be present in cases where we long for both justice and mercy to prevail. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Holy Companion, console those who feel lonely or abandoned. Share the hours of those who live and eat alone. Comfort those who have few friends or who struggle with their identity and place in this world. Be with those who have special needs, especially Landon, Tess, Terry, Linda, Vicki, Pete, Oliver, Phyllis, Jim, Joanne, Melba, Irene, Alice, Paul and Market, Jenny, Loretta, Lavon, Corey, Carl and Bev, Debbie, Eleanor, Rich, Phyllis, Dick, Gary and Arlene, Jack and Eloise, Rick and Sandy, Rob, Ruth, Veronica, Joan, Bob, and those we mention either aloud or to ourselves. Join their voices in a new song, assuring them that you call them each by name. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Holy Protector, be with all observing Veterans Day. Guard the lives of active duty and retired military personnel. Comfort all who mourn those who have died in the line of duty. Heal the wounds, both physical and mental, experienced by service members. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Holy and immortal one, we pray in thanksgiving for the lives of all who have died. Remind us of the frailty and shortness of our own lives and inspire us to use them for the building up of your kingdom. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. We also would like to pray for those who have celebrations this week. Celebrating birthdays, birthdays are Corey Cordaire, Nancy Eschbach, Steve Hanna, and Jack Dietrich. Celebrating anniversaries are Nacio and Marge Martinez and Derek and Cheryl Ellertson. And celebrating anniversaries of baptisms are Marsha Ravani, Bradley Schultz, and Elizabeth Gargozu. Into your hands, O oh God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The peace of Christ be with you always. I invite you to uh, share a uh, sign of peace as you're able to. Keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, for this work's almost done. Keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, keep your lamps trimmed and a burning for this work's almost done children don't grow weary children don't grow weary children don't grow weary for this work's almost done darker midnight lies before us darker midnight lies before lies before us for this works almost done don't grow weary don't grow weary christians don't grow weary this works almost done though the morning soon is breaking though the morning soon breaking, though the morning soon is breaking, for this work's almost done. Keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, keep your lamps trimmed and a burning, for this work's almost done. Don't grow weary. Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, maker of all things. Through your goodness, you have blessed us with these gifts, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Use us and what we have gathered in feeding the world with your love through the one who gave himself for us, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks that your love for us is not dependent on our response. We ask you, God, to accept our praise, to accept our worship, and to accept our lives lived in your name and in the name of Jesus, your son, who on the night he was betrayed, took bread and when he had given thanks, blessed it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he blessed it and gave it to them saying, drink of this all of you. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. We join in the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Eat and drink the gifts of God for all the people of God, the living body and blood of Christ given and shed for you, for the forgiveness of your sins. May this gift of the living body and blood of Christ strengthen us and keep us in God's grace. Let us pray. God, for whom we wait in this meal, you give us a foretaste of that day when the hungry will be fed with good things. Send us forth to make, your, to make known your deeds and to proclaim the greatness of your name through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord's face shine on us and be gracious to us. The Lord look upon us with favor and give us God's peace. Amen.
peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, just I've got a couple of announcements, and then I, I know that uh, Libby Ryman has an announcement. Uh, I'm not sure of others. Uh, um, I wanted to let you know that uh, this morning at nine o'clock before the uh, before our, our worship service, we had a ga gathering, a Zoom gathering of uh, Sunday school kids. And I, I very much appreciate the uh, the help of uh, Minda and Dan uh, and Susan uh, actually starting to teach them, this is difficult to do, teach them a song for Christmas. Not knowing what kind of Christmas service or program or anything like that we'll have this year, uh, but um, um, I just, uh, I, I, wish, I wish you all could have seen the enthusiasm with which Susan addressed these kids. It was just, it, it was magnificent. Thank you, Susan. Um, I also, I also want to say, uh, I, I don't say this enough. Uh, thank you to uh, Mike Drellachars uh, for kind of engineering or providing the technical uh, support for uh, for our services. Uh, it's uh, it's an, every week he does this work, and uh, we uh, he kind of stays behind the scenes, but it's, uh, it's really important work that he does on, on behalf of all of us. Um, <clears throat> other announcements, uh, Libby? Sure, I have a couple of uh, social ministry announcements that have to do with La Trinidad. Um, first, you know, every year we collect turkeys and bring them to La Trinidad to hand out to parishioners and, and neighbors. Uh, this year to make matters um, uh, more efficient, easier with, with all of the restrictions we got, we have. Um, uh, they've asked us to, um, to provide Aldi gift cards. So if you make a donation to church and market La Trinidad turkeys, we, the, the social ministry committee will turn those into Aldi gift cards. Um, a, they won't um, defrost. And B, families will be allowed to, to purchase the size turkey that, they, that, that works best for them. Um, so that's one thing. And then when communicating back and forth about this and, and the meal that we're bringing there next week, which is separate from the gift cards, um, Jen DeLeon mentioned that she's collecting men's lightly used winter coats, sweaters, and hoodies. Now we're going down there next week. So this is kind of last minute, although I'm able to go the following week if more gets collected. Um, so if you have any that you're looking to, to donate, um, we came up with two ideas yesterday during the social ministry meeting. Uh, currently the shopping cart at church is not really being used for groceries drop off because we're doing it more monetarily than, than actually foodstuffs. So if you have a, a men's jacket, hoodie or sweater and wanna put it in the shopping cart, um, church is relatively open in the, the mornings, from what I understand. Um, if that doesn't work for during the week, if that doesn't work for you, um, I will type my address in the in the chat. I live not too far from downtown Mount Prospect. Um, the address is 304 South Albert, um, and you could leave jackets, coats, and hoodies on the front porch, and we would be happy to deliver them to La Trinidad. Thank you, Libby. <clears throat> Thank you, Libby. Are there other, excuse me, are there other announcements? Yes, just want to thank you for remembering Veterans Day and we remember that Veterans Day honors those who have served and those who are serving. Memorial Day is more to remember those who have, passed, have served and now rest from their labors. But my Canadian relatives all remember this, uh, it's day of remembrance in, in uh, many parts of the world. It's more like our Memorial Day, but I'll be in Edison Park on Wednesday doing the program at the Monument in Edison Park. We're socially distancing. We're gonna do a brief program there. But I just wanna thank all of you who have served and appreciate that very much. Thank you. Other announcements? <clears throat> if not, then I will- um, Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. I would, just, I would just like to thank everybody in the congregation for their prayers for Millie last week it turns out that she went to have surgery and 
it's not cancer. It was just a really bad infection and she's going to be just fine. So thank you. God is so good. Thank you. Good. Thank you for sharing that with us. Uh, other, other announcements or things to share individually before we open it up. I'll turn the camera around. You can see the folks who are here and we can go to coffee hour. On camera it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a great week, everybody. Love you all. Go Bears. Bye.